Matters. I'm Wei Tang. Together with Suhi Asman, we bring you companies in the news. And today, this company, Wintoni Group Berhad. Ah, Suhi. Wei Lin. This well, company is, I mean, the events that surrounding today is very convoluted. I don't know, you know, um, the problems that's going on there. It's, it's, it's really very interesting, isn't it? Well, interesting because uh, this company, its whole board resigned yesterday. Ahead the whole of board it, The resigned. whole board, eight of them, right? So ahead of its EGM today, which was actually meant to, to out them. So basically, uh, this boardroom change follows 10 minority shareholders who actually asked a requisition for an EGM to remove the whole board last month in August. Mm. And apparently it's because the company, they're not quite happy with the company's performance well indeed you know the company has been loss making if you look at the latest uh, uh, earnings you know um net loss of 14 million ringgit but if you look at the stock right the stock has risen by some 300 percent you know since january and quadrupled to uh, from seven cent to about 28 cent and and you know and i think maybe the shareholders are saying that you know the share price has gone up but what about the earnings the earnings are quite dismal at the same time yeah and net loss second quarter but it has actually been loss making since uh, 2010 uh, and has only returned to profitability in 20 2014 in 20 and that's also an issue with the auditors, right? Yeah, that's right. But we haven't actually gone to what does the business company does, right? Okay. So basically, Wintoni Group Berhad, uh, it does industrial automation systems. Uh, it also does, it's also a provider of mobile internet services. Mm, definitely. And also, they, and this is following, um, I think they venture into the wireless, right? Following the acquisition of Planet Wireless Group of companies. with the, And they all and this will make their foot, expand their footprints, you know, in, in Malaysia, Asia, Europe and Africa as well. Well, it's actually made the news because uh, with the ten, with the whole board, right, being uh, what they resigned. So there's actually a few six. Of, it's been replaced by six new directors. And so there's two the, vacancies right now. Six, and it's actually led by led by the um, Datuk Muhammad Sharif Omar, who was previously the Deputy uh, Chief Minister of okay. Penang and also the Deputy Agriculture Minister. He was from Amno previously, but was sacked because he, during the GE13 he stood up uh, independent, and then now he joins the PKR. Wow, with all these new appointments, our colleague Charlotte Chong actually, she attended the, uh, the EGM today. The EGM today. And, and so she do watch out for one of our videos there. Yeah, and, and let's not forget that we have this very interesting man, Dato Te Po Yi. The name right. has been, He's you been... know, <laughs> very famous among the corporate circles. First with the Patasco fiasco, yeah. now, and then you have the next crime, and then you have this um, uh, Wintoni Group Berhad. So right, on the news front, uh, Charlotte actually has briefed us earlier, uh, Suhi, right? Mm -hmm. So the chairman today has actually said, come out to say that these 10 requisitionists are collectively they currently own more than 40% in Wintoni and by virtue of that they actually actually triggers a mandatory general offer but at the same time you know um, uh, the, the shareholders they stood up and they say look we own one tenth of the shares which is equal to 10% and I think the ball is not in Estes and Bursa Scott to prove and solve this very convoluted I don't matters. know Max it's been like for many months there's boardroom changes the mm. company's financially is, is not also doing very well um, today the shares were down 10% of 3 cents to 26 cents but like you said one year has actually risen uh, more than 200% and mm. year to date more than 300%. Yeah. Right, okay, but just to wrap up, Wintoni Group Berhad, <coughs> companies in the news, uh, it's seen boardroom changes as a company financially, uh, it's loss making, so it's something to watch out for in the, in the coming times. That's all we have for today uh, from us, Nadia Hassan, Suhi Asman, and myself, Wei Lin Tang. Uh, for more, please hop on to www.thmarkets.com or you can pay 30 ringgit to subscribe for our Digital Edge daily and weekly. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good weekend.